Hello everybody and welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. I hope all of you are doing very well. Um, I am going to be doing the monthly reading and this is going to be for the month of June 2020. And I've got my little uh, notes here. I'm going to start off with Scorpio today. Okay, we are going to start off with Scorpio and yeah I, i'm going to talk about a couple of things before we get started so clearly may 20 wait may 26th wednesday um the last wednesday in may we had a lunar eclipse in sagittarius if you watch the may readings you would know all about it and the energies for eclipses usually last about three to six months just so you'll know um june we have uh, an eclipse we have a solar eclipse on june 10th and then we have a couple of planets that are going retrograde we have mercury going retrograde i'm reading just so i i get my dates correct and i don't muck up on that so mercury is going to retrograde from may 30th to june 23rd it's going from gemini to taurus gemini to taurus Saturn is going to go retrograde from May 23rd to October 11th. That Saturn is going to go retrograde from Capricorn to Capricorn. So basically, it's just going to go backwards a few degrees in Capricorn. Jupiter is going to go retrograde June 20th to October 18th. Jupiter is going to go from Aquarius. It's going to go back into Capricorn. So these are some key uh, retrogrades and such. I will put this information, of course, in the description box, okay? So let's talk about Scorpio, for example. And I got my notes here. I made sure I printed them out. So I have it all in one page. And what do you know? It's so fine, the print. Uh, do, 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 do. So what? Let's, let's do this. So with the Mercury retrograde, what it, and again, keep in mind that this is general. I do not know which house what planets etc are in your chart right that only you can pull up and see but typically mercury affects communication right and uh, when it's in retrograde it's going to bring up a few issues communication obviously computers allergies flu cold uh, skin allergies um, uh, don't make any major decisions regarding your finances or any major decisions don't sign contracts it may also cause insomnia. Now think about mercury. What is mercury? It's very fluid. It's very, uh, you know, when people talk about mercurial, it's like it's things going to shift really fast, change its course really, fa course really fast. So uh, keep that in mind, okay? Um, don't make any major decisions and that sort of stuff. Then Jupiter. Um, as we all know, Jupiter is all about expansion, right? Um, if Jupiter is... Jupiter rules Pisces and uh, Sagittarius but if Jupiter is in an unfavorable position in your chart then that would delay uh, cause delays in marriage for example it would cause a little bit of depression exhaustion mood changes pessimism that sort of thing now uh, let's talk about Saturn so Saturn as we know is the uh, is the uh, uh, a person who teaches us lessons in life right what does saturn do saturn basically shrinks everything jupiter expands saturn shrinks so when you talk about jupiter in your chart see which house it is in and if it is beneficial to you then that particular house whatever it represents is going to expand if it is in a debilated deb debilated position then whatever problems it co you have in that particular house it's going to expand those problems it's going to make those problems bigger right so Saturn, on the, on the other hand, is a, a planet that teaches us lessons li right in life. Saturn is going to pull you back. It's a little limiting. It's, it kind of shrinks. It kind of makes you feel stuck. It feels like you're sitting on your hands. Hurry up and wait. Uh, like you don't have a choice. It's like, I'm stuck. What do I do? It's hard, hard, hard. Yeah, Saturn does teach us hard lessons. But the good thing with Saturn is if you are able to learn the lessons, if you are able to... Um, uh, pay attention and take notes and make the necessary changes and corrections in your life then Saturn will when he leaves your planet your house your your chart or whatever moves on he definitely leaves some gifts behind that is for sure as far as uh, Saturn is concerned 
So um, Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto. So keep that in mind. So again, look at your personal charts. This is a little bit of astrology. You know, there are any number of uh, um, websites where they show you all the chart placements or whatever. Um, in fact, I, within the next couple of months, I'm planning on getting my own website up, um, which is going to go into depth with all this astrology business. So that way people can go and look at the astrological aspects of their particular houses or date of birth and that sort of thing. I'm still working on it. So hopefully it'll all come together soon. So that is as far as the retrograde planets, how it affects you, etc. Again, look at which house these planets are positioned. So if Mercury, for Scorpio, for example, if Mercury is in your fourth house, then what does the fourth house represent, right? As an example. So those areas are going to be highlighted, whatever. So keep those things in mind. But Mercury in general, like I said, it, uh, when it's in retrograde, usually when any planet is in retrograde, they say don't make major decisions, right? Because things are temporary. Once it starts moving forward, things are going to change. And the decision you made when things were in, 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 the, in the reverse will not be applicable when it's going forward. So keep those things in mind. So um, uh, what else did I want to say? Yeah, for Scorpio, I've got something here for you. How this uh, solar eclipse is going to affect you guys, right? So uh, this solar eclipse is going to occur in Gemini, right? So Scorpio, let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Gemini is your eighth house. So um, what does the eighth house represent? It represents wills, secrets, the occult, death, regeneration, uh, long-term finances, etc. So uh, again, look at your chart, okay? Look at your astrology chart and see where these particular houses fall, uh, where Gemini is, or what planets are in Gemini, you know, etc. that sort of thing. So uh, on the overhaul, overall in general, um, though everything seems happy with you, this eclipse adds, will add some spice to your life over the next three to six months or whenever. Um, there are definitely going to be some changes in career, um, be flexible as far as that is concerned. Um, and, uh, just, just focus on work and enjoy it. Okay. Just focus on work and enjoy it. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then I'm going to move on to your cards, right? So a couple of things which I should have taken out and I didn't. Uh, no, baby, I'm doing really, really now. I can't have you disturb me. I can't stop this. Uh, go lay down. No, you can go lay down for some. Go. Go lay down. Go lay down. You were attended to already. I spent a lot of time with you. Where is those cards? Where are those cards? Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm telling you, every time I start to, I take care of him, I let him out, I take him, give him some belly rubs and some scratches and some treats and do all that stuff. And he'll be like, okay, now you can go do your reading. I'll be fine. And the moment I come and start with my reading, then he gets all of a sudden, like he's got 101 needs. I mean, I tell you, these, these, Four babies are no different than human babies. I, I kid you not, at least in my opinion. Anyway, moving on. And he's sitting outside the door. I don't know if you can see his tail. Just <laughs> he's such a goofball. All right. So we have Venus. Right? And... Uh, so we have Venus. I'm going to keep this here because I don't know where my card stands are. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, we'll do this. So we have eight, the number eight. Okay. I'm going to leave it here. Then we have this guy. Uranus right and then we have this guy which is Libra so I'm just going to leave these here we'll see how all that ties in with with the readings okay um, I think I want to pull some numbers over here where are my numbers cards
we got 29 and 9. Let me make some space, you guys. Can you see? Okay. Let me make some space over here. Move these cards out of the way over here a little bit. We got 9 and 29. Excuse me. And I wanted the overall energy. I go back to my Zanoni deck. Which is my major arcanas only. And we'll see how they all, you know, uh, tie up for sure. So we have number 21, which is the world. Completion of cycles um, and that sort of thing. So let's do that and let's do that. Yeah. I had those little stands, but the cards kept getting tipped over. And I was like, you know what? Whatever. Okay. So, let's see what's going on for my beautiful Scorpions. For Scorpios for the month of June. You guys ready? All right. Let's do this. Okay. So, overall energy is the world card, clearly. Then we have 29, which is protection, 9, which is equilibrium, and Venus, which is 16. We also got the number 8. We got uh, um, Libra, and we got uh, Uranus. Yeah, where did it go? Yeah, there, Uranus. Okay. Starting off, we got the Ace of Cups. Then we have the Page of Cups. Of course, you guys yourselves being a water energy, you know. Then we got Seven of Cups. <laughs> All right, a lot of water energy here. And then we have the Ten of Wands. And then we have justice. Okay. And of course, we'll get clarifiers as we go. So Ace of Cups, right? So Ace of Cups is all about security, um, getting a helping hand. Uh, it's like a, a new relationship, a new baby, a proposal, a marriage. Somebody's giving you something, you know, obviously. Then Page of Cups, we have um, somebody bringing in some good news, right? then this is yeah all that glitters is not gold but then again you have a lot of op opportunities here and a lot of options and it says um improvements in money okay look beyond the clouds uh don't just take things at face value uh look do a little bit of research look beyond the smoke screen try to get a good look see before you make your decisions and also know that all that glitters is not gold. But if you do all of those things and if you make the right decision, then definitely there'll be improvements in money. And what did I say for you this month? Your focus is going to be on career improvements, right? Isn't that what I said? I said for Scorpio, where are you? It's, uh, it's going to add some spice to your life for the next three to six months. Your changes in career. Um, the industry that you are working in, there could be changes in that particular industry. So obviously it's going to affect your career um, and just, you know, get down to work and focus on it, right? And then you have the Ten of Wands and it says weighed down with problems and very heavy load. But this is coming to an end for sure because you have the Justice card, right? So the Justice is a Libra energy and it says legal situation or document uh, police finding out the truth in the matter affecting the balance. So also with regards to this, you know, look beyond the clouds. Everything that glitters is not gold. There are some smoke screens. Have the astuteness to be able to look beyond that and see beyond that and figure out that, you know, uh, don't just take things at face value. Uh, and for sure, for sure, make sure that uh, you do your own, uh, you know, uh, your own uh, um, investigation and uh, do your due diligence because the overall energy we also have here the world card so the world card is completion success 
Um, uh, and uh, again, with the World Card, keep in mind that you have the opportunities opportunities to do whatever you want, but it's a question of making the right decision as long as you have the foresight to look through this, right? Look through the smoke screen, look through the clouds and understand that everything is not what it seems. You have to pick the right one and make the right decision and then you will have improvements, but definitely somebody is going to give you a helping hand and definitely you have some good news coming in, I, probably regarding your career, okay? I foresee that uh, to be focus on career and it says you're protected. Number 29 is protection, okay? And then number nine is equilibrium, finding that balance. And somewhere here we have the Libra card also, so definitely, right? So this is Libra, right? You see that, you guys? So let me see where Libra is in your, so we're doing Scorpio, right? Libra is your 12th house. So, and what is your 12th house? Your 12th house is all about um, your karma, the hidden supports, etc. So pay attention to that. There is definitely a cycle that's going to come to an end for you guys. So you will have this opportunity to lay down your burdens, but have the foresight to look beyond, ask questions, do your due diligence, investigate, ask, ask, ask until you get your answers. But then again, sift through those answers. People will tell you whatever they think you want to hear. You have to have, be, have the smarts to uh, see through those answers and, and figure out which one seems more accurate than the other. You know, instinctively, you know, right? Um, so let's leave that where that is and let's move on. Let's get some, which one did I want to use? Oh, let's do this. So... Um, Definitely there is balance, definitely, because Libra showed up twice, there's definitely going to be balance and Libra is air, right? And, and, and then what are the odds? You have equilibrium over here, you have Libra here, and then you have justice, which is a Libra card. So it's decisions and court and etc. So be careful about that, right? Um, true nourishment, um, because uh, if you're able to look through the smoke screens and look through the cloud, clouds and see the, see what's behind it and what's hidden, then it's justified, right? Your decisions will be justified. Corruption, there is a little bit of corruption there. Enlightenment. Hold on and the night of the soul. Okay, so a couple of things over here. Um, true nourishment, I would say as far as this is concerned with true nourishment, yeah, Pay attention to your health. Yeah, make sure that it's not just you're nourishing your body, but nourishing your soul too, right? If you need time to kind of, you know, recover, recuperate, re-energize, charge those batteries, whatever, do that. Corruption. Now, what I have to say about this corruption is be careful of that smoke screen. Remember I said all that glitters is not gold. Look beyond the clouds. If you are able to do that, um, you'll be fine. But they are, there is going to be somebody who's going to try to corrupt your decision making okay, uh, who's going to influence your uh, decisions, who is going to corrupt your thought process. Uh, have some enlightenment, be enlightened. Like I said, um, know to look past, you know, like I said earlier, you know, people will tell you what they think you want to hear. Uh, sift through those answers and you can tell instinctively, you know, which is a, which is, which answer is more truer than the other. So enlightenment for sure. And six and three is nine. We have another nine over there. So there are some, and then we have 18. So nine and 18, there is some synchronous. And then we have an eight over there. Okay, let's get on with it. And then here we have this hold on. And this is a bit of a harsh kind of a, a picture, right? Um, but don't beat yourself up if you have made some decisions in the past and it didn't pan out, um, you felt bad about it, you felt guilty about it, whatever, don't beat yourself out on that anymore. Because not only do you have the hold on, but you have the night of the soul as well. I mean, I feel like you felt like you were pushed underwater and somebody was like forcing you into a situation or somebody else had... had. So let me rephrase that. That because of what XYZ did, it put you in a situation where you didn't have a choice but to make the decision you did and act a certain way which caused you a lot of heartache 
okay so it's 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 you know as long as you acknowledge that you made a mistake or there was you know whatever that's your first step towards improving yourself and that has weighed heavily on your on your heart right so we are going to definitely lay down those burdens because you have been carrying a heavy burden on your soul so um let me uh, see which one is this no i don't want to use that there is balance there is definitely a need uh to and and then you may also be kind of struggling with you know um you were definitely corrupted and you were struggling with feeling justified like justifying your actions don't go there because it's it's all over and done with just focus on the here and now and focus on the future and take it like one step at a time you will be fine okay um and then there's venus over here so so venus you know the it, it, all things beauty luxury money finances that sort of thing there's definitely a lot of love over there it's also venus is also tied to money and finances and materialistic things so i would say and then you have the ace of cups page of cups and the seven of cups definitely definitely there's something in store for you over there as far as finances are concerned um and um just just Finding out the truth is very important for you, okay? It's going to be pretty critical for you this month. So focus on that. So let me... We have number five. This is about a couple. It's... Um, oh, what do I do with my... Yeah. It's... Um, I'm sorry, number three, it's uh, lovers, a couple, a pair. So, excuse me, pay attention to your relationships with your significant other or your loved ones because that is showing up as being prominent. Okay. There's something that's changing as far as your relationship is concerned y'all then it has a little bit of a stressful situation it's a bit of a you know, you may get a little bit of a disappointing news and this is 20. This is regarding home and health. Oop, oop. Okay, we're going to take this. Ah, hang on, you guys. Let me reach out for that. Excuse me. All right. So, and then you have this card. Okay. Number 27, it's unexpected gains, wealth, through work. And then again, you have this unexpected gains, right? Number 11, exceptional winning. So there is a possibility that, you know, um, finances definitely, clearly, this offer is definitely, whatever this offer is, you know, this helping hand, this offer, etc., Whatever that is, it's going to benefit you for sure. Um, but make sure you sift through all the all the hazy stuff and get to the truth of it. Make informed decisions. Do your due diligence. But then again, considering that we have this eclipse, don't make any uh, sign any contracts or such at this time. And again, when Mercury is retrograde, also, I if you can help it, hold off on it. Okay. Um, but if it was something that was started way back when and you just never got around to finishing it and this is the only opportunity or time you have to do it, then yeah, go ahead. But don't start any new contracts or make any new commitments at this point in time when they are retrogrades and during the eclipses. I have a feeling this particular situation, it's going to either go two ways. It's either going to um, strengthen, right? It's either going to strengthen Okay, there may be an informal commitment. Okay. Um, or there may be a, a uh, feeling of, 
let's kind of take a step back and let's kind of um, uh, like slow down a little bit type of a situation. So that's a possibility. Now going back to Libra, I see a lot of Libra energy here. So that's air, their decisions, their codes, their legalities. Be careful, don't make any decisions or make any commitments during retrograde or during eclipses. Keep in mind the energies for eclipses, lunar or solar eclipses, you know, the energies can go on up till, you know, uh, three months to six months as well. So keep that in mind. So Libra, we have Libra over here, and then we also have Uranus. Now let's see what, what uh, Uranus, Uranus um, is a ruler of uh, Aquarius, right? And Uranus is all about sudden changes. Um, so be careful because we have a Saturn retrograde as well. So um, don't make hasty decisions. Don't make hasty decisions. Definitely since Venus is here and I feel like this offer and this money and all this thing is related to your work, there are definitely going to be changes in your work area. Definitely the industry that you work in, there are going to be some changes and you will benefit uh, from it. Keep grounded because you definitely have the world card, which is like, you know, completion, success, etc. Um, and you have the world at your feet. So take advantage of it to make the right decisions, make the right calls. Um, and Scorpio, don't hold on to grudges. I know Scorpions like hold on to grudges. Oh my God, like nobody else does. Uh, Scorpions really do hold on to grudges. It's a waste of your energy. Don't do that. That's all I can say, okay? Um, just move on from it. Lay down your burdens because holding on to grudges weighs heavily on our soul, man. The way I look at it, holding on to grudges is eating up too much of my uh, emotional uh, storage <laughs> that's the way I look at it so I don't I just cut loose and say whatever you know moving on right karma is what karma is and karma will do what karma does anyway so I'm just going to leave it to karma and let her handle it right so I don't hold on to grudges I don't hold on to um, bitterness or animosity it's just not worth worth losing my emotional energy on it and uh, that sort of a thing so I'm going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, leave your comments, uh, you know, in, in, the, in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you guys um, and see how, you know, uh, if this resonated with you or not. Uh, watch your rising sign, moon sign, your Venus sign, the usual stuff. Um, and then again, not every reading is going to resonate with every individual every single time. Time and energy is fluid. You all know that. So... Uh, much love to you guys and I will see you next month. Bye.